Hello there, Leslie McDonnell with Remax Select Properties. Do you love to sit at home and scroll through listings all the time? I know so many people do, it's crazy. Um, did you know that you can look for sold listings directly through my website? Yes, yes you can. You can even get automatic email updates. Uh, now, if you're really, really serious, we'll be having a conversation and I'll set you up on a search through my MLS system. But I also know that a lot of my clients like to search on their own in their own sort of little, you know, put their own criteria in. And I just wanted to let you know that my website does offer you that opportunity. So here we are on my website, propertysalesvancouver.com. And once you're on the site, you can come over here to your, you can create a free account. And once you've created that free account, then you can save searches. Uh, so right here, you've, I've got um, some saved searches. We, I just went ahead and made a, a, a couple examples for Kit Solano. So I made a search, I made two. One was for active listings and one was for sold listings. So it separates them up because it's always interesting to know what a house is put on the market for and what a house sells for. And sometimes in like in a strong seller's market, it might sell for over the asking price, or if we're in more of a balanced market, it might sell for under the asking price. And it's a great opportunity for, you know, those data seekers, those information hounds. This will give you the information that tells you sort of what things are uh, selling for. And how you make these searches is you just come up here to search listings and come to all listings. So when I say all listings, that's basically the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver, the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board, and the Chilliwack Real Estate Board all contribute to the same MLS system, which is where this data is being derived from. So basically Whistler to Chilliwack uh, and a little bit of the Sunshine Coast. And so you can choose if you want to do active listings and then you can categorize sold listings from as much as one month ago to two years ago. Uh, and then for your neighborhood, you can just put in um, anywhere you want to search for your homes. So maybe you want to see what's going on in Brentwood Mall area. So we'll go to, let's say, Burnaby North. Uh, as for property types, you can choose condos, houses, townhouse, lofts, or land. Uh, for the purposes of this, uh, since we said Brentwood, let's, let's go with condos. Uh, and then you can choose if you want to have a minimum number of bedrooms, minimum number of bathrooms, uh, and then price point. Um, let's say you've got a million dollar budget. Um, if you want to have a minimum square footage, some people are like, I really want to have like at least 500 square feet. Uh, you know, a million dollars, you might get something. <laughs> It's crazy how the prices are, I swear. Uh, and then you're built. You can choose, uh, right now, this is sort of any building. Uh, some people want to have something that's like a little bit newer. 2001 was when they changed some of the building codes. Uh, so some people might be like, okay, let's do it from that much newer on. And now you can see we've got 110 results uh, uh, for that. And uh, they can come. So you can either look at them like we've got a grid. You can look at them on the map. And it'll show you sort of where they are. These ones up here, these are going to be leaseholds because they're up on SFU. Uh, and that's one of the filters that I can't do uh, on this system, but I could do on my system. Uh, so there's a little bit more filtering that can happen when I do um, my searches through my MLS system versus this public facing site. Uh, and that's why I find that some of my clients prefer to look on their own as well in case they might see something that's been limited by one of the filters. Now, granted, the filters is usually there because that's not <laughs> there's something part that you don't want, but we can always, you know, maybe it's more of a compromise than realized. Uh, and then for how they show up on the grid, you can search, um, you know, newest to oldest, oldest to newest, highest, lowest, let's bring it back here, sorry, um, you know, most amount of bedrooms to least amount of bedrooms, all these different types of uh, categories that you can sort them in. And then once you have your search all sorted and you can just click on this right here, automatically be notified. Now all of us, now your search has automatically been saved and you will get an email when uh, any new, um, new listings hit. 
I just thought uh, I might share that with you. If you are uh, interested uh, about the real estate market, you won't have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Leslie McDonnell with Remax Select Properties. I hope you're all having a fabulous day.